Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. Today I will show you a home automation system which is similar to web server home automation system. I will show you how to build this app on MIT App Inventor and explain you how it works. This app can control multiple systems by just changing IP address. So let's get started making it. The components used in this project are sponsored by Flyrobo. You can visit their website and place your orders. So in this project we have used ESP8266 Node MCU board, 4 channel relay module, breadboard and some jumper cables. Do all the connections as shown in this circuit diagram. So this is MIT App Inventor's interface. On the top, I have used an image that is virus science banner. Here I have used a label to display the text. This is the text box where we will give the input of IP address. And at the bottom, I have added 8 buttons, 4 to on the relays and 4 to off the relays. Now we will go to blocks section. This is the programming part of the application based on blocks. So this first block is for errors. If any error occurs, we will set the error message to blank. So no error will be displayed on our screen. So in this block, when you press any button, like for example, if you are pressing button 1, it will create a URL, which is a web URL. This URL starts with HTTP colon double slash then the entered IP address which we have already entered before and then it will continue with this string that is relay one on similarly this are done for all the eight buttons now this string is sent to our node MCU board so in this part of the code we are checking the data which we will be receiving from the application if it matches our condition for example this if condition if the relay one on matches to this condition then the loop activates then the task written inside the loop also activates similarly it is done for all the eight statements So now we'll enter our Wi-Fi name and our Wi-Fi password. We'll select the Node MCU board and port and now we'll upload the code. After uploading, open the serial monitor, select the board rate and press the reset button on your Node MCU board. And now you will get your IP address. Note this IP address which we will be using in the application. Now download this app or create one for yourself. Open it and enter your IP address. Now by pressing the buttons you can see the corresponding relay turns on and off. Now I will be connecting high voltage appliances to our relays. Be very careful while doing this.
I have designed PCB for this project. This is the schematic of this project. I have converted into a PCB file and then I have downloaded the Gearware file. To order your PCBs, you can visit jlcpcb.com. You can select on code now. Add your Gearbear file and place your order. You can also use the PCB which I have used in the previous home automation feedback project. This is also compatible with this project. So I will be using these old PCBs of my previous project. So assemble your components and start soldering it. Now I will be using high voltage appliances to demonstrate it. Be very careful while doing this. So guys now our system is ready. I have connected a LED bulb to our off the shelf components project and a CFL bulb to our PCB board and this is how it works. So now I will change the IP address so it will activate our off the shelf component project. Now again I will change the IP address and this will activate our PCB board. Guys I hope you like this project then hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.